guys, welcome back to part two of the Gastrobac Espresso Pro, um, also known as the Brazilian Pro uh, Barista, uh, also the Sage and the Solus, and another brand that's almost similar to this system and design. Um, yeah, so part two, uh, what I mentioned was that I was going to replace the valve system and the magnet, but what I realized was the steamer did not work, but did produce water, but not perfectly. Then I conclude that this magnet was damaged. Not the valve itself, but the magnet was probably damaged and needed to be replaced. So I bought a new one as well. So the common thing is, is that one breaks, the other one breaks as well. So always buy both of them. The system on the right side in most cases you can open it and clean it but if the left side one is damaged you need to replace it completely so I put everything back together and I connected the valves I I cleaned up the chambers in here I put some cleaning agent and I dissolved it a little bit vinegar and um, I used a simple tablet that you can actually clean up the whole system with and in general, everything looked perfect. I reconnected everything. So I'm gonna turn it on. First thing is it's good sound. It doesn't sound as if it's being pressured. I can see water in this tube. The first thing, I, when the valve was damaged or the magnet was damaged, you couldn't see the water flowing here. So that goes on that side, so that drips, the head is dripping, so there is some kind of contact. So as you can see, we have the program, single, double, it's now on single, and this works good. So as you hear that, it's actually steaming up, it's a good sign. So I'm just gonna do a program. This is gonna do single track. All right, that is a nice flow of water. And now we're going to do the steam side. So I'm gonna turn this lever here. Red light is blinking. All right. So part two. Steam a little good now. Water is flowing perfectly from that side, and the steam is also coming out there. Nice. The thing is, there's also steam coming from the head there. You know that. Steam is good. Nice and hot, but not super hot. So it just needs to warm up. But it does look good. There's a lot of steam coming from the head here. So I probably need to adjust. To adjust that there that is the valve that actually gives the pressure and then releases water down to the reservoir down here I need to tighten that up a little bit more so but in general everything works fine now it steams it works you can grind you all the functions are all good so if you have this problem that water is not producing from the steamer or the head use this tip to help you out a little bit further and fixing those magnet valves 
magnetic valves and replacing them and leaving it as is. Number two is the pump that is underneath that is connected to this here. It's a big red block that pumps the water from this tank and pushes it all the way to the system. And actually that's about it that I know of. So the magnet valves are number one and number two is the pump. So keep that in mind. I hope this video helped. If so, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. If you need help with anything else, send me an email. Maybe give you some repair advice if you need it. The most important thing is these machines also need cleaning. So every so often, try to clean your machine with a tablet that goes into the piston. Clean up your machine thoroughly because char goes everywhere. And once it's there, it's very hard to remove. When I'm finished prepping this whole machine, getting ready, I will also make another video onto how to clean this machine. All right guys, thanks so much for watching this video, for your patience. I hope to see you guys on the next video. Thanks so much, take care.